I want to record a video about a dream that I had because I often um, have dreams that later happen. But of course, once the event passes, people said people will, will will claim that I'm just making up the fact that I had this dream. So I thought I'd make a dream before that occurs again. Let me talk about a few dreams that I had in the past that predicted the future before I talk about the current one. When I was eight years old, I dreamt that um, my family and I were driving on the road and we had all stopped at this Kmart. We used to have a Kmart about five or six miles from our home and we had all run out to go to the bathroom at that Kmart. It was a big emergency. I didn't think much of it. Actually, I might have needed to go to the bathroom that night and that's why I dreamed it so I would wake up to go to the bathroom. So I didn't think very much of that dream. It was probably just I needed to go to the bathroom. My mind was kind of making up a way to come up with that story. But that Saturday, the three of us, I was with my parents at the time, my brother wasn't born yet. We had gone out to lunch. I think we went to a Denny's. And on the way home, all of us needed to go to the bathroom really badly. And when I looked out of the car, the first thing I saw was at Kmart. And I suggested that we go there. And as soon as I said it, I couldn't believe what had happened because it had only been a few days since that dream. And sure enough, we run into that Kmart to, to go to the bathroom, almost the same way that I had dreamt just a few days ago. Last year, I, um, we, I had a conference in Macau, which I really didn't like that much. Um, I mean, I had a fun trip, but it's not my first choice for a destination. But I really needed to go to this conference to present a uh, uh, machine learning uh, experiment that I had done and, and dis made some discoveries. So after I came home, I dreamt that um, I was at another conference in another part of the world and my ex-girlfriend was there. I had met this ex-girlfriend many years ago at another conference actually. Okay, so in my dream, my ex-girlfriend is married and um, she, uh, uh, we, I was getting into the conference room I was getting into the elevator to get to the conference room. I get into the elevator and I hold the elevator door for the two of them. And my ex-girlfriend looked to her husband and says, don't get into this elevator with this guy. He has a disease. And I woke up from the dream. I was shaking and sweating. You know, I often dream things because I subconsciously pick up something. Somebody has some values of me. And so I thought to myself, you know, maybe I need to do something about my um, eating disorder. I used to be a very compulsive eater. And that was a big inspiration for me. This was, um, because part of the reason I didn't like Macau was because I didn't like the choice of food there. And it really ruined the trip for me. This was back in, the dream that I had, this was back in August of 2019. It became a big inspiration for me. Um, and um, at the end of 2019, I made a resolution, New Year's resolution for 2020 to normalize my relationship with food. Well, a couple months after the resolution, we really did have a problem where people didn't want to get into elevators with others over a disease, right? It wasn't just my girlfriend not wanting to get into the elevator with me. It was everybody against everybody else, right? Three years ago, I dreamt that somebody had spilled some toxic chemicals in the apartment that I was living in. And um, a couple days later, uh, I go to work and um, somebody breaks a fluorescent light bulb and I, I uh, left the building. Uh, and um, as soon as, as I was leaving the building, I was like, oh my God, I dreamt that a few days ago. It wasn't the same chemical that was spilled in my apartment, uh, but close enough, right? Seven years ago, I was living with my parents. I was working at a company in Pittsburgh. My family was living in Pittsburgh. One day I dreamt that I was walking along this busy street that's like in between uh, Pittsburgh and where my family was in Murraysville, a suburb of Pittsburgh. And I found about three or $4,000 on the street. And um, I had no business walking there. I, 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 did, I did, you know, I had no business finding three or four. I don't know why I dreamt it, but a couple days later, my car breaks down, and I actually do have to walk a few miles 
Oh, I, I don't know why I forgot my cell phone that day, but I had to walk a couple of miles to, to get help. And then I realized that's the street I was walking on in my dreams. I didn't find three or four thousand dollars on the street uh, when I went to, to go get help from my car, but the walk kind of did help clear my head, which was kind of worth something too. So that was a nice dream to have. Now the scary part, and this is what's really reinforcing me to, to, to watch what I eat, a, f a few months ago, I dreamt that I was on the run from the law. I, I was wanted and I was probably going to get executed if I got caught. And the reason for that was that the dream took place in about the year 2025. I had dreamt that many years ago during the COVID crisis, I had gone to the grocery store to look for my favorite food and somebody took the last package and I was so upset that I... Uh, threw my camera at him. See, I, I record YouTube videos a lot, which is why I, I would have my camera on me. And um, Ami noticed to me, he had um, some uh, 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 pre-existing conditions, and he also happened to have COVID-19 at the time this transpired, and the camera to his face was too much, and he died. And now five years later, I was on the run from that. And uh, when I woke up from the dream, it was, I... I I was actually fasting that day, and when I woke up, I was already 30-some hours in the fasting, and I was about to break the fast, and I was like, that's it, I'm, I'm going to continue that fast, because I, I really need to normalize my relationship with food, where I'm going to run into more trouble. And uh, as you can see in my previous streams, not all of them have happened in the same way. They usually rhyme, but not exactly, so hopefully I won't... Uh, get in trouble with the law over. Maybe I might lose a job or lose a relationship or maybe um, get into some family strife. I can live with that. So it remains to be seen how that dream will... All of my dreams have eventually happened in one way or another. Oh yeah, one time I dreamt that I was on the walking um, along the trail in Kirkland and I found a thousand ounce silver bar on the side of the trail. A couple days later, I go walking there and I find a pendant made of 925 silver. So all of my dreams have eventually come true, at, at least to some degree. And I think the one about uh, uh, killing somebody over food, it will probably come true too. Not to that extent, obviously, but I'll probably lose a job or, or break up with a girl or, or, or get into a family argument. And uh, maybe spend a few days in jail. I, I, I probably some one of those things. I'll be relieved when it finally happens, and it's nothing big, right? Uh, because all my dreams eventually come true. Unfortunately, well, fortunately in some cases, but unfortunately in others.